all 49 back. I just got my LeBrons in. Tell me why they gave me just this orange Nike box instead of that like premium gray King James box that I returned them in. I mean, they're the same shoe. Let me make sure these shits are not worn. I don't know why, like I bought these, this pair off of Nike. The previous pair was off of Dick Sporting Goods. Like, what's going on? Oh, they're, they're brand spanking new. Huh? That looks used. This is the last time you guys are going to hear about this. I returned the LeBrons one more time. This time because the box really bothered me and it just appeared like the shoes were worn previously. So I have a friend who has three pairs of this in the exact colorway. He said he'll price match whatever I paid because I paid a discounted uh, price. And then I'm also going to double up and pick up a second pair of LeBron 20s because these are... These are essentially just like beefed up like Kobe sixes, I would say. You might disagree, but yeah. I just picked up both pairs of LeBrons from uh, my friend. Got the original box for both. Here's the purple pair. DS, one touch. This pair I'm like pretty excited to show you guys. This is like the first pair that he came out with. These are the time machines. Tough. So tough. A beefed up Kobe. So had to double up. We just parked up. We're trying this uh, pizza spot. It's called Pizza Oven Grinder. It's literally just like a bowl of cheese. Um, that's the appeal they've been around i've seen people post this place many times i just it's taken a while for me to get around to this place just booked this on the fly booked it like an hour ago <laughs> We just came out of a pizza oven grinder. This is one of those one and done spots where like <clears throat> the appeal is the concept. So obviously <laughs> there's like a, a bit of a show when they bring out the like pot pie pizza, but I like the show, but like, I don't think I'll come back because taste and flavor was definitely lacking. The whole place was like pretty underwhelming and like, I don't know. I like if we're mushrooms. talking strictly pizza, it's not good pizza. Oh yeah. There were like whole mushrooms in the pot pie. I was just a little confused. I would say that like even Giordano's is better than that. And that's like a chain pizza. Yeah, not good, but you know, curiosity. We're back downtown. Um, yesterday when we stopped by the cost store, I asked if they have that like quilted bag. And he's like, yeah, I'll take down your information and, and uh, if we get it, I'll let you know. And he texted me today, he's like, I just got a black one. Like, if you want to swing by, I'll put one on hold for you. So 30 minutes later, we're here.
ada. What is that drink? Can you try it? Oh, that's a spritz, right? <laughs> we are in uh, Northbrook, Illinois, I believe. In front of this restaurant I saw on TikTok. It's called Clay Pot. They specialize in uh, Korean ox, ox, ox bone, oxtail, oxtail bone broth too. Sha Long Tang. So if you can see, it's cold and gloomy out. This is just the perfect circumstance for eating this dish. Let's check it out. Oh, come on, Lindo. Can we switch? Nope. <laughs> Yours looks really plain. Yours looks better. Mine looks crazy. Show me how to eat it. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture again. I always get the Oh. Look at this beef, it just comes right on. Uh, I think I need the scissors. Was a good meal. Very proper. <laughs> Very proper. Jinja. <laughs> First time getting um, a pedicure. So. Oh, didn't you want to do red? This one is pretty too. Mm. All right, just got out of the nail spa salon. That was lovely. I mean, pedicure was like 40 bucks. I don't know, is that expensive? I don't know. Standard. It was relaxing, I enjoyed it. I'll come back again. I think this is like a Chinese owned spot, so always nice to support my people. Let's see your nails. Oh, pretty perfect for uh, the new year. That's that. Let me see. Let me see. That's that Cartier red. Mm, seriously, it's really good. Glucose. Chicago exclusive. Do you want to go to the Supreme store? Supreme? Mm. No. We just opened the store down the street. Really? Mm. Let's Fine. check it out. Heading to the Supreme store. I have a feeling they won't let me record anything, but. <clears throat> Just going in to snoop around. I only put 20 minutes on the meter even. Back in the car, I didn't really bother filming anything because there's just not much to see in the Supreme store. I saw like a North Face collab. Like it was like a anorak puffer. Um, it looked pretty cool. And then they plastered this huge Supreme embroidery on the back. So that was... Uh, about that it's, it's cool that we have a store here i just wish we had it like back in like 2015 2016 that era back when people would line up for supreme every day but now it's like i mean it's, if i'm gonna be honest like it's fallen out of relevancy what we really need is a stussy store in chicago
Just pulled up to our dinner spot. It's a pizza. This is a spot that I've been meaning to go to for a while. But it's a little up north, so I've been putting it off. Finally here. Before we go in, though, I wanted to talk about these shoes, the shattered backboards. I picked these up for seventy dollars at Buffalo Exchange, and. They are a nine and a half, so my size exactly. Uh, I spent a decent amount of time trying to authenticate them. I have a good feeling and $70, you know, a bit of a gambler, so we'll see. Um, and I can always wear them to play basketball, you know, but it's pretty funny because uh, I think they were kind of tucked away behind the register and I spotted them and at the beginning of the visit actually, but I was hesitant because I don't really wear Jordan ones like that. And I saw a pair of fire red fives and someone swooped them quick. I saw them, I turned around, looked back, they were gone. Like, so I, I revisited the shattered backboard ones and there's uh, there's like a group of kids that are like, oh my God, like ask him what size those are, like blah, blah, blah. Someone finally asked me, I was like, yeah, I'm taking them. And then like, even when I was checking out, there are people like, oh, $70, like, what the hell you know so fingers crossed um but yeah let's get some pizza this place caught my attention because it's giving lucali's uh vibes brooklyn lucali's and yeah they have a small menu six items naughty signature pizza let's check it out really small menu Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Okay, first bite. They just brought over their homemade hot sauce. All right, <clears throat> we just got out of Naughty. First of all, someone correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong because it kind it kind of sounds a little uh, a little suspect, you know. But yeah, it was it's good pizza. I was very satisfied. Price point, everything. Um, small operation. I can't say it's better than Lou Colley's or like even comes close to like some of these New York spots, but it's just like really good and like exactly what I was looking for. And we need places like this in Chicago, definitely. Ooh, here's Louis show. But we're going to a new hot pot. I believe it's a chain, because there's one in New York, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's no this. Place. Is this the entrance? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow, it's so pretty. Wow. Oh, it's so Chicken base, yeah. It's a mixed chicken and mushroom. Tomatoes, only vegetarian. Why only one flavor brought it? I don't know. Ah, oh, wait, you uh, we only picked three. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. <laughs> okay, the essentials three flavor broth, beef tripe, uh, lamb slices, beef tongue, lotus root bean curd, gnocchi, and you gotta get the crispy deep fried pork. Let me see your sauce. Is 
babe. She said it's chili pot. Also for this place because we just came out. We came out with takeaway. That never happens. I just felt really full and we didn't order that much. I mean, usually we order like more, right? Felt so full so quick and like I went in there on an empty stomach after the gym. Just couldn't eat much. But the broths were kind of weak, you know? Tomato broth, eh. The spicy started getting like bitter towards the yeah, end. I would say the portion sizes are kind of a value um i like the beef tongue yeah their beef tongue was beef tongue was good and they have like items like quail egg which i appreciate but not the best i think i like liu yu show more than this place too okay so chelin first chelin one liu show second liu yu show and then that one shu long kang or something like that yeah but check it out i mean the decor is like very retro not retro <laughs> What would you call that? They decorate it as well. Yeah, just like <laughs> That's from it. a long, long time ago. Just smashed a nice back and by day. Got some protein here. Double scoop chocolate quest protein in the almond milk. There we go. It's the consistency we want. Cheers, my friends. God, protein's never not gonna taste like shit. 44 grams of protein down the hatch. We're going to watch a movie, a K movie. Ugh. Okay, show me the hack. can put like inside too. Did it even get through? Yeah. Are you sure? No sound? Oh yeah it does. Oh shit, there's a lot of butter. Like the bottom too, you know? Yeah. You know what we're going for. Zero sugar. Should I do a flavor? Vanilla? Mm, I don't know. Or just yeah. regular? Orange vanilla? Vanilla or regular? I'm gonna do orange vanilla because I'm feeling kind of crazy right now, yeah? Going crazy. Actually, let me try this first. No? On second thought, we're going with just uh, plain. watching a, a K movie it's called the broker it came out in 2022 what's his face the dad from parasite he's in it rotten tomato rating 93 percent so you know i'm forecasting a motherfucking banger huh putting for it the rating's pretty low it's right here 19 right here yeah but i'll give you an honest review afterwards no bias oh a 6.66 in korea mm -hmm. Yeah. We just got out of the movie and I'm not gonna say it was a bad movie or anything like that, but it just didn't really do it for me. Another thing worth mentioning, there was this couple sitting like the row behind us and they were just yapping away pissing me the fuck off like one thing about me is i fucking hate inconsiderate people and they just would not knock it off you know we say something to them and i don't know if like we hurt their feelings or what but they got up and left like fuck you bro i definitely think it's like worth watching i just don't know what i was expecting i didn't even i really didn't even read what the movie was about i just went into to it watching like just riding the rotten tomato rating it's a good movie it was like, shot beautifully like kind of sad and stuff and i'm not really like into those kind of movies i 
don't know, to each their own. Phoenix Salon, salon Suites, I'm getting a haircut. I'm gonna maybe take off like two inches. It's so thick and heavy. We're going this way. <laughs> and I'm gonna re-up on some products. The labels like right around the corner. Fresh cut. I'm not superstitious, but it doesn't hurt to get a fresh cut before the new year. This one's official game ball. That's the one I normally use. Whoa. Hey, that fixed it. Yeah, seriously. I went with the Chicago colorway evolution ball. What, what, Lunar New Year box Gundam. What cupcake are you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get two. Two? Okay, go. You, you first. Alright, uh, just, just get what you want. I want to get... I didn't know. What's the difference then? Wait, okay, this one's... Cool. Gluten free, I think. Is it better than Molly's? Um, you didn't do the cupcake hack. Can you pass me my sugar-free cupcake? Can you hold it? Hold it. Uh, it's hard to grab though. Yeah, it really is. My sh S for sugar-free cupcake. Red velvet. Alright, sugar-free. Got ourselves an umbrella. We're gonna pick up some ingredients for a hot pot at home. I got another text from uh, the guy at COS. I should probably learn his name because he he's hit me up twice now, this time for the smaller um, quilted bags. My girlfriend wants one, and then the OG wants one, so I'm just gonna swing by and scoop them. I think they're like, I wanna say half the price of the bigger ones, could be wrong, but yeah. Pop in real quick. So many. go to Dick's I called them and told them that I have like a, another evolution ball that just keeps deflating so they said I could just bring it in and exchange it no questions asked so that's what we're gonna do I probably should have did this or called them or contacted them prior to buying the Chicago ball but I kind of like the Chicago ball so I'll just set that aside in the meantime How are you? Huh? They don't have that many good ones. Their best ball is Evolution. Yeah, but do we have like a special Evolution thing? They just do 
Maybe there's a regular bar right here. How does it look? It used to look? Yeah. I miss when they used to be $60. And fleet to 7 to 9 PSI. This is the older version, I think. It is the older version. No, I have the newer version. Oh, actually, the font is newer font. You remember the old fonts? So leave that ball there, and then you take that one? Yeah. A swap ski? Free 99. Actually, it's not free 99. It's actually, they paid me $20 because uh, with the inflation, this ball went up in, in value. Need I say more? Cheers, my friends. You know I say more? This is not carbonated. It's carbonated. Cheers, my friends. It's so crazy to me that this is $3. This is 100 yen, man. Come on. At the Cartier store, picking up my leather strap, drinking some sparkling water. Left the Cartier store, we're going to Ikea. Once I park up, I'll talk a little more about the exceptional service that's at Cartier, what they gave me, um, as far as what I came for, and complimentary goods. And yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping at Ikea today. It's been a while since I went to Ikea. As promised, here's what I got. Uh, receipt. They gave me an extra pouch. I was just asking if they changed the shape and she's like, here, take another pouch. Some chocolates, of course, something sweet for the road. Some more of their fragrances. And this is the only thing I actually went in for and that's the leather, the alligator. Over two months, waited over two months for this. There we go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, there's the other one. Cartier. Beautiful. But yeah, Sammy at Cartier. Sweetheart, always hooking it up. Now uh, we're gonna do some shopping at Ikea. I got this panda for the lady. I'm thinking of getting one of these. What? Fuck is that? What in the Virgil Abloh is that? I think I need some Swedish meatballs, no? That looks pretty good. That's a tomato soup. Now. This is shrimp something on a croissant. It tastes interesting. I've never had anything like this before. Exactly what I was looking for. Huh? This is a, uh, I don't know. This texture is kind of foo. What is this material called? I don't know. This is re recycled polyester. I mean, it looks really flimsy, but you can still stick a good amount of like envelopes and other cards in here. This is a lot smaller than I was expecting, though. Like it's very sleek. As you can see, but like hanging jackets and stuff. I don't know. I'm still gonna take like maybe three of these. I just found these covers, 99 cents each. It's gonna look like that. So I can put the Johns in there. Prevent the dust buildup too. Can never get enough of these lint rollers, dollar each. This is really cheap. And I don't have off whites to put in there. If that's the same material, 
material. I'm just gonna get a black one. Oh, should I get the? Should I get one of these? This one for seventy. I don't know. Oh. Kind of cheap. This is the Hove. Big ass mirror. I think this is this would be a nice addition for thirty-five dollars. I just need a decent pot. Not bad at all. Uh, this is the pot. Went with. Yeah, good. This one. I need double of each. Yeah, double of each. Two coffees? This is a fountain drink. You got me a hot dog? Yeah, here's. We got two for the meal for John and mom. Uh, two cones, one for your mom, me, you. This is a dollar hot dog before I dress it up. I'm not gonna lie, it still looks kind of like trash. Hot dogs and coffee, you know I'm going to the bathroom after this. All right, very quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I picked up from Ikea um, because I put it to use now, and then we're gonna unbox something. So these are the uh, hooks that I got. Um, I think they're like $3 each. I think they're super useful. This right here, I used to just stick whatever miscellaneous paper, envelopes, uh, etc. I got like film, some red envelopes, brochures, receipts, stickers, my concealed carry. This I found I find to be super useful. Um, just uh, I want to do a better job preserving these pieces of fashion history. So prevent that dust buildup, etc. I swapped the dresser. I had a red one before. I swapped it for black. It's the same one. I think it just looks so much cleaner now, especially because I have black hangers. So this plant, got this plant at Ikea. Plant plus the cost of the pot was like $50 in total. I think these, if you go to like local plant shops, you're paying way more than 50 for everything you see here. I got a bunch of these like hooks. So I'm going to use this space for uh, taking pictures of like clothes and whether it be for like the Instagram page or to sell stuff. Frame, I'm experimenting. These are all just paper uh, printouts. I think I need some colored ink and I think I need some like thicker paper and then we can go crazy with it. But for the time being, I think this looks pretty good. And then lastly, I got these like, uh, basically I got these bins that I use to store things. Some Rick Burks in here and more of those uh, garment covers. I decided I'm not gonna play with this ball anymore. I think it's super cool and can serve as decor. I shot around with it once, but I think that's enough because I have another ball that I got from Dix, as you guys saw. So let's get into this package here. Um, I ordered this, I wanna say 36 hours ago, or last, shipped from New York. So I have here a watch. Um, this is the Brew Metric Chronograph in their latest colorway, um, gold. It's PVD gold, but gold nonetheless. Let's get into it. That's what it's supposed to look like, right? Let's see. Brew. Is this okay? Buckle. That that is a pretty good size right there. That is a very good size. Size, excellent size. Um, how do you open this thing? Oh, more buckles or snap buttons. Okay. Getting into the color of this thing, I don't know. I have a gold bracelet here, 9999, so 24 carats. 
this is how it looks next to it but what i really like about this is uh they changed the dial so it doesn't look so playful it looks just more expensive we got your coffee bean pusher here crown a tapered bracelet which i i love love to see that there's that bean emblem in the back there it doesn't feel that luxurious but it will be my daily um that's what it looks like it draws inspiration from like coffee machines espresso machines and kind of serves as homage to a couple vintage references from omega and rolex so all right the tool came in today um maybe 24 hours later from this last clip took off four links yeah it's just beautiful chronograph for under 500 dollars get to experiment with gold um it's a seiko movement it's a pretty watch i think it's nice not too thick yeah not too heavy either anyway um i'm ending the vlog here next vlog you guys will see me in london i apologize for taking so long to upload just been busy lately but the london content is going to be fire i guarantee it i already have six dinner reservations lined up two being mitchell and star i got plenty of things like ready to go when i arrive in london so stay tuned subscribe if you're not already subscribed follow me on instagram i've been posting on tiktok lately um i might drop some food shorts on youtube or other shorts maybe review this watch a little bit too um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys in london